Hey guys, welcome back to Yo-Kai Watch 2, and today we're gonna be taking on another post-game side quest. This time, this time in Harrisville. Specifically, Harrisville School, which is not called Harrisville Elementary, even though there's elementary schools here predominantly. Anyways, inside here we'll find Toiletta. Yeah, if you beat the game, you can come here and do a side quest. And hi, it's me, Toiletta. Mm, hi, Toiletta. Of course, I recognize you. We literally talked to you in the last episode. How nice to see you again. An outside of the restroom at that, which is quite a surprise. <laughs> Just because my name's Toiletta doesn't mean I'm always in a toilet. Oh dear, please pardon me. I meant no offense. Okay, maybe a little and. What brings you here, though? I saw something out the window. I was trying to find it again. Uh, there are many things one can see outside a window. Which was this? A yokai. A flying one. Up in the air. Indeed! Flying yokai aren't that rare, though. Right? Even the cat ones? Um, a cat yokai flying balderdash. No, I don't know. Don't forget that time Jabanyan fell out of the sky. Oh yeah, that did happen. Ah uh, yes, quite right. I'd like to hear more of this flying cat of Toiletta's. Should we press her for details? I don't see why not. It's not like we're doing anything else and... Whoa! Okay, this gives actually some really good equipment and... Hey, Toiletta, where exactly did you see this thing? Um, near the mountains. Hmm, <laughs> that hardly narrows it down. Can't you be more specific? Not for you. De destroyed. Come again. Hey, Nate. Do you know what Big Peak called Mount Middleton? Yeah, I've been up there. About a million times, actually. <laughs> That's the mountain where I see a cat yokai flying up near the top. Always. Except today. You realize that we must do, don't you, Nate? It's our duty to climb the mountain and have a look around. Yeah. I'm curious about this one. According to our lead, the best chance of them top Mount Middleton. Yeah, let's go climb that mountain! Hey, don't tell me if you do find it. Wait, tell me if you find- Okay, you got it, Toilet, and I always wanted to meet a flying cat. Uh, yep, when we get back, I promise you'll be the first to know. And then maybe Komasan. I don't know, he's kind of with us, even though Komasan doesn't tell- When is Komasan getting his own spin-off game? Anyways, I don't think we've seen this comic book strip yet. So we might as well do that in a comic book strip. Let's read it. Sure. And remember, read right to left and watch by Chikako Mori. This is your yokai watch. It's like a watch pendant. It's so stylish and cute. Clang bonk. One more lever on the track. <laughs> Smacking her in the face. Please turn this new wrist watch. Oh. Haha -ha, XD. Anyways, let's not read that again and actually get started on the side quest. I said the phrase XD outside of text. I'm never gonna live that down. Anyways, come to the top of Mount Middleton and examine this shrine to find the flying cat. Ooh, yeah, basically, um, it can, oh wow, I actually really got lucky. This map is very large and it could hide basically everywhere or anywhere. It can't hide all places at once. That That's not really hiding. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Guys, this is Robanyan. You probably knew this. Judging by the title, but he's back and who was looking for me? M Whoa, a flying cat yokai, just like Toiletta said. Error, I am no cat, I am a robot. Nyan, a, a robot? What a letdown. This isn't a yokai at all. On the contrary, he gives every sign of being a genuine robot yokai. That makes no sense. How can it be both a robot and a yokai? Uh, what would a robot yokai be doing all the way up on a mountain? Correction, I am from the future. W what? Yes, in the future, we will master time travel. No fooling? Scanning, scanning, scan complete. You have impressive collection of yokai. Hey, thanks, it's nice of you to notice. I don't like where this is headed. Sufficient samples from this era have been scanned. Proposal, I will test myself against you. Initiating battle. All status green. Battle readiness maximum. And here we go. The battle against the robotic Jabanyan. Robanyan! Yeah, and he's weak to basically everything. I don't know 
they were thinking with this guy, but basically, Robanyan is a complete and utter tank. He's also really high level, so I don't really know how this is gonna go. Hopefully that will hit. Oh, snap it did, okay. So I'll speed things along a fair amount. Now, to make things go by very easy, I decided to bring along Mermother because simply put, she's a really good yokai. I'm just gonna go for money here. Why the heck no? Only 80 cents! Robanyan, come on, man, and yeah. He's weak to fire, electricity, water, pretty much all the elements. So this is one of the rare fights in the game where a spirit user would actually come in real handy. But yes, Mermother has assisted me in taking down Robanyan. The reason that I'm using a level 99 Yoka against this guy is because, well, we're going to fight him a lot. So <laughs> might as well make it go by fast, right? And damage over 50%. Retreat recommended. I will be going now. Congratulations, though I am not at maximum capacity, you have done well. Not at maximum capacity? Does that mean he was holding back? Scans indicate intriguing area in your data. Area designate Springdale. I must investigate this Springdale for more samples. It sounds as though he's headed to Springdale next day. Affirmative. Selecting target. He's going there to fight someone else? Who? I think we only find out by following him. Target selected. Proceeding to new coordinates. Springdale. I'll be back. And he's gone. Oh man. What if Robanyan destroys Springdale? We gotta stop him. And Comasan's here to help. Where the crowd Comasan go? Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, I always forget that happens. Anyways, to Springdale. Summit. Actually, I'm out of stamina. Crap. Now the quickest way to track down the location of a yokai is to, well, come to Mount Wildwood's summit and hope we can find him, and I guess, yeah, we might as well use these, so from this point in town, we can find literally anything, but there's nothing here. That's strange. Maybe he's in the other one! He should be, actually. There he is. Okay, so here's the trick about this. This map is even bigger, but I like to do is basically just scan the whole thing until I see... Oh, man, we found him. Okay. Where was he? He's around here somewhere, I think. Okay, there he is. Robanyan strikes back. Literally, he's he's just flying around. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know, scanning. Is that what robots do? I don't know. You robots in the comment section, let me know. What do you do on a daily basis other than target things and scan them and... Who was looking for me? You again. Found you, Robanyan. Hope we're not too late. Have you attacked anyone? Apologies. Robanyan's purpose is to collect battle data. So, attacking is required. Going around attacking people is very rude, you know. Battle data insufficient. Must collect more samples. Your samples are best. Proceeded to collect. Oh no, not again. Yes, again. Initiating battle. All status green. Battle readiness, okay. Oh man, this Robanyan's kind of a jerk compared to the one from the TV show. I don't know about you, do you remember when he fought Jake Squeak with yams of all things? Oh my gosh, he is strong. So, same as before, we're gonna get our girl, Mermother, in there and hopefully- Oh man, that is not how you trace. Hopefully this ultimate attack will do insane damage. No, we went for Foyletta Crud! Alright, that's fine though. We do have the buff from Sergeant Burley and oh my goodness! She's just a strong- Wow, um... Yeah, if you never knew this, robots and water don't really mix most of the time. Then again, in some role-playing games, it's like the opposite, and it's, oh, I guess that goes for electricity too. But yeah, we stopped Robanyan again, and damage at 75%, activating self-repair routines. Your strength is impressive. Records updated to reflect improved strength. Well, sure, we all got stronger after last time. In our next battle, I will fight fully armed and operational. No more Mr. Nice Robot. Hmm. This location unsuitable. Scanning for suitable arena. I will wait at the most advanced place in Springdale. Advance? The heck does that mean? It means the place with the highest technology, you idiot. I'll be back. Uh, wait a minute. And he's gone again. And well, here's the thing. You could uh just. Run around all Springdale trying to figure out where exactly Robanyan went to, but 
And the game sort of has a quest function in it, so you could basically just figure out, yeah, we're supposed to go to Excellent Tower. And that's it. And all right, Robanyan, this is the last straw. If I don't find you here, and you fight like a robotic cat, I'm done with you, man. Destroy Springdale for all I care. Actually, please don't. I kind of live here in Crud. This is the toughest one to find. <gasps> Found him. That is actually super lucky. Okay, so Robanyan, his final stand. And where the cr where'd he go? He oh man, he's actually really fast. But just look at him fly around. Oh my gosh. But yeah, he's kind of being a jerk. I understand you need battle data and stuff, but just I don't know, go to the gym or something and see people. I don't even know how you'd get that. Anyways. Who was looking for me? Do you have, like, short-term memory loss, man? We just talked about this, and... There you are. Late again. Very slow. Sorry we don't have rockets, and... Just how long has he been waiting? Well, he picked the right spot. The excellent tower certainly is advanced. You have had several seconds to prepare. Are you ready? Uh, uh, uh I guess so. Excellent. Begin! Initiating battle! All set is green. Battle readiness maximum. Commencing. Final battle. And here we go, the last confrontation against Robanyan. Now, if your yokai aren't high level, this could actually be really stinking tough for you, but luckily for me, my guys are super powerful, and hopefully we can get off this moxie attack. For once, for crying out loud, you got a crit on Insomni, but that's okay. The Moxified Gusty Crust Paw! Did pretty good. Oh my gosh, 400 damage! My goodness! I don't think I've ever seen that much from that attack. That's sinking amazing, but yeah, the battle's over. I kind of leveled up my yokai way too high a level to take this quest on, but oh well. In all honesty, it's not like anything even changes between the multiple encounters, but that's not really on the developer's side. They can't really do too much without making, specifically, Robanyan a boss yokai. And come to think of it, that'd actually be pretty darn cool. Anyways, we've defeated Robanyan for the third and final time. And now, finally, hopefully he will stop attacking Springdale, even though he hasn't really done much wrong and... Is he okay? Maybe we overdid it with that Krusty Cross Bond. Negative. I feel absolutely fine. What in the world? My language routines were damaged, but that last self-repair fixed it. Oh, well, that's, uh, it's very good. Glad to hear it. I'm a little disheartened that I could not win, even at full strength. Well done. Hey, just because we won doesn't mean you're a pushover. Still, I wasn't enough, but with a close enough look at your technique, I think I could diagnose the problem spots and upgrade myself further. Uh, you think so? Nate, he seems reluctant to come out and say so, but I believe he wants to be your friend. That's one way of putting it. Uh, really? Huh? Yeah, I don't mind. Let's be friends. Affirmative. I acknowledge you as my new administrator. Robanyan will join the team, and believe it or not, getting this yokai is kind of important for something we're going to be doing soon. And man, I just love this Terminator music. It's so stinking cool. But before we go on, we're, let's check out his other nickname. So we got Robocat Arnold. I like that one a lot. J8000, oh my gosh, so many in Astro, so he's kind of a whole, like, a lot of Japanese robots, but this one happens to be based on the movie franchise Terminator, which has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, and also, I stinking love Robanyan, so I want to give him his own episode, because I like his quest line, and we got the medal and the medallion, and this time I'm actually going to read it, and no, not administrator, friend! Of course, administrator! Nicely done, Nate. You successfully befriended a robot! Don't forget that Torlator wants to see this yokai for herself. Oh, good call. Let's head back to Harrisville School right away. Yeah, let's do that and get our reward. Hanako, I mean, uh, Toiletta, we got the robotic flying cat you wanted. Man, that is a mouthful, and what is it? Hey, Toiletta, remember that flying cat yokai you told us about like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> well, guess what? We found it. Shut up. Uh, uh, wait, what? Um, but yeah, we brought him here so you could, uh... Greetings, 
Did I hear correctly that you took an interest in me? Robanyan! Oh. Admittedly, he's a robot, but he's also both a yokai and a flying cat. At least, I think he's a robot. Um... Hmm... Is something wrong? Unlikely. She's probably dumbstruck at the sight of a robot from the future. No, the thing is, that cat, he's... What impresses you most? My efficiency, my power, my design. He's just not cute. Oh. Uh, uh, error. Oh my god! <laughs> Completely destro- Oh my gosh, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter how many advancements Robanyan gets. He's just not gonna be cute, which is a darn I think Robanyan's cute in his own way. And wait, how's Toiletta here? Foiletta's in our part. We're just gonna ignore that and take our fiend charm. So, yeah, kind of a fun little side quest. I just want to show <laughs> that complete di oh, that complete diss from Toiletta. I think that's absolutely hilarious. But yeah, as promised, let's check out Robanyan's entry inside of the medallion because I'm a little bit curious if it's changed since the last time we saw it in a robot that thinks he's actually Chabanyan. Stiff movement aside, the resemblance is uncanny is uncaddy oh my gosh that one's funny meow meow yeah 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 so hasn't really changed much it's more or less the same reliable robotic cat as efficient as ever and i wouldn't have it any other way and since he's a rare yokai he is going to get better stats compared to other yokai of the same level and tribe. Now, here's the deal about Robanyan. We're going to need him to get a legendary yokai, believe it or not, just because of a hot spot. But that alone isn't going to fill up an episode. So why don't we do another cat-themed side quest, this time in Chopper's Row. Over in the apartment complex in Chopper's Row, there's... Been two yokai on the map, which I've never actually discussed, talked about, or even made mention of. And you know what? Today we're gonna change that and talk to uh Ruff Raff and Cough Cough? What the heck are you guys doing here? It's me! Definitely me! Oh! What? No way, it's me! Uh what's going on? This guy's saying he's the pointiest in the whole world! But I am suddenly pointier! No way! Look at how pointy I am! I'm pointier. You've even got two eyes. How can you not see that I'm pointy? <laughs> oh, we got my heart! Because it's crazy pointy! <laughs> Make him sound Italian and... Oh! We're never gonna get to the bottom of this. Wait! Let's make this kid settle it. Which of us is pointy and spikier? Uh, you really want me to choose? Yeah! How else are we gonna, we're gonna solve this? You got a problem with it? No problem here. Right! So I up and decide who's the point. Uh, I don't know, man. Um. Isn't it cough cough? But at the same time, I don't know if I want to upset Rough Raff. Uh. Let's just go ahead and choose him. Why not? And. Yeah, you think I'm the pointiest? Sure, man. Why not? Just, just don't take my lunch money, please. Please, I need that. And. Hmm. If I had to choose. I guess I'd say Rough Raff is pointier. I think so too, yeah. Now nah, you're talking. I like you guys. Oh, uh, does that mean you want to be friends? What's this? What the? What? What's this? Oh, well, so I saw that coming a mile away. What's up? Uh, what happened to Jabanyan? <laughs> I like you guys, so I decided to do a fusion for you. I'm looking forward to working with you. Yeah. And that's how you get Banyan in Yokai Watch 2. Banyan! You're messing with me now. I will never grow tired of this amazing Yokai and his splendous Pompadour. Speaking of Pompadour, <laughs> let's see what his nicknames are. And, oh! I'm trying I'm trying to get that down. We got Bad Boy, Junior, Sonny, and, and Pompable. That's probably my favorite out of the book. <laughs> not gonna lie, and not bad. We got Bad Nyan added to the medallion too, so that means two Nyans in one video. 
How are we ever gonna top that? Well, I'll just keep watching the walkthrough and you'll eventually find out. Yeah. That's how we get bad news. I still can't believe it. They took the fusion out and I don't really understand. But Jabanyan evolving is a good thing, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Um. I never agreed to evolve like this! Um. That was anticlimactic. Huh. That was a close one. I want to stay the way I am. Oh, he's back. And he's dancing. Why? Why are you dancing? <laughs> I don't understand. And I still have Badnyon's metal, though. I wonder if it's okay if I use it. I don't see why it wouldn't be. So, yeah. Even though Jabanyan and Ruff Raff are separated, he's fine. And <laughs> to fuse my evolution like that, you're a sharp one yourself. You know that. Uh, all right. And oh, I feel bad for not picking Cough Cough. Am I really not as pointy as I thought? Oh, sorry, man. If only we had another copy of the game so we could get the other version to- Okay, so basically I'm gonna go over to Fleshy Souls and show you what happens when you pick Cough Cough, okay? Be right back. And now that we have a second time to do this side quest on Fleshy Souls, let's go ahead and choose Cough Cough and- I'm the pointiest one here, right? Yeah, literally, you are. I mean, how can- how is this even a dispute at this point and- Hmm, if I had to choose, I'd go with Cough Cough as the pointier. I think so too, Nya. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Oh, he's sad. You guys really get it, don't you? I like you guys. Oh, this doesn't mean you want to be friends? It goes nothing. I just realized they're fusing against Japanyan's will, and what's this? It seems oddly familiar. I don't, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Ta da! Uh, what happened to Japanyan? I like you guys. So I tried out a little fusion for you. I'm looking forward to working with you. Oh, all right, and just like that, we got Thornyon's medal. Yay! Thornyon! I tried my hardest to replicate the voice, but it's really hard to do. Ugh. Oh crap, we didn't check out the nicknames. Oh man, I'm a bad YouTuber anyways. Thornyon will also be added to the medallion, and wait, I already had a bad Neon medal? What's that all about? Ooh. So, yeah. I, I guess you can imagine how this one ends, and I don't really understand, but Jabanyan evolving is a good thing, right? I don't know about that. I, I, I can't fake burp again, oh goodness. I never agreed to evolve! <laughs> I don't think I'd ever get tired of that. And... Uh, that was a close one. I want to stay the way I am. Oh, he's back. Seems Whisper is less than thrill. <laughs> Honestly, if Thornyon was the mascot, I'm sure Whisper would probably like that, and I saw his metal. I wonder if it's okay to use it. Yeah, it should be, and now I wonder if we talk to Ruff Raff, will he say anything? Whatever, I'm definitely pointing it. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. I don't know. I just feel like showing off a little bit of that dialogue, but yeah, let's see what Cough Cough has to say. Uh, and to think, I even helped you evolve. Technically fusion, and you're pretty sharp, kid. I, I, I guess that's an insult. I don't really know. So before we go, let's check out their medallion entries as well, just to make sure they haven't changed over the year that Yokai Watch has been out in Jabanyan's proud of his new spiky body. Just don't walk behind him while you're barefoot. <laughs> that's funny. And Jabanyan got bad. Real bad. With an impressive pompadour haircut and classy tails. He's a delinquent with no cause. Uh-huh, so the abilities for these two specific yokai are identical, but I figured we might as well show off both sides of this story. Anyways, now that we have Robanyan added to the party, next time we're going treasure hunting. For real this time. So see you guys then. Bye.